What's good? It's your boy Sheem, the head chef. Let it swizzy. That's my sous chef. Jumping back into the bear. We're finishing up season two today. Man, we fat. hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> this series has right been... Here. I'm at Eber right here. Has been a beauty since the beginning. So many connections with the characters. We've seen everyone gradually build up from the start. And now everybody's on the same page. And it looks beautiful. We wanted this from season one. Everything was kind of in shambles. Nothing really connecting. Nobody on the same page and now everybody's flowing and things look like it's actually going to work out so by the time you guys get this we're going to be way ahead in the next series that we're starting for our channel so if you want to jump a couple weeks ahead in content and get some exclusives head over to the patreon and sub up but without further ado let's jump into the finale of season two for the bear let's get it everybody chef lock in Let's hold on three and four. We're up on the grapes. And let's pick up that first course and push focaccia, please. Again, please and thank you, bar seats one and two. Yo, you in here, my man, Marcus in the back? Four and cannoli for four. It's going to table the one. Damn, that's a lot going on. Cause you gotta think everybody's ordering at the same time. Guys, this is Damn our man. first turn, okay? Got a full board tonight. We're looking good. We're gonna clear it, okay? Everybody feeling good? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You running this shit. That shit's so fun. So just sit. much. No lease. Can I get an all day? Okay. What's going on? Did you see this fucking six tops? Or just... Why is she not answering Marcus? No smudges. Thank you. Thank okay, you. got an order coming in. Who's Two heard him? Don't smudge nothing on that motherfucker, boy. This ain't friends and family. This is huh? another. This is a different day. But it's probably, bro. You gotta think how many people in there. I think. But the Pete popped out. Matt, yeah. Oh no! Nah, so this is still this night. It's friends and family. This yeah. ain't the real open. She's gonna love it. Shit! The light above Jimmy's too hot. Oh my god! How's everything, guys? Everything is fantastic, buddy. Really? And hey, hey, hey! You're looking sharp, young man. Thanks so much for coming back. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Right this boy was made for that shit. It's, it's okay. It's okay? I got better stuff at home. That's a crew Beaujolais. Let's see you later. Don't you not to go back there? I told you not to go back there. What do you want back there? Don't talk about it. Shh. Don't go back in my kitchen. How was everything, guys? Cousin, this is pretty great. Thanks. Man. She called that boy Cousin. Kelly, nice to meet you. Her and I, we, were, uh, we grew up together. That is a fact. He's a Carmi's cousin. I am indeed his cousin, yes. You know, he loves you very much. Well, you know what? I love him very much, too. Please don't tell him. Okay. He be doing that family vibe with everybody, yeah, bro. bro. What do you that's, uh, that's Sid's dad. Sid's pop. It's beautiful. I am blown away. Your daughter is very important to us. Very special to me, too. Drinks are on their way. Uh, you're too kind, but I, I'm really a soda guy. I don't drink. We are well aware, sir. The bear pop service, Mr. Gomez. Come on, boys, this is hard. Oh, man, we listening. <laughs> we know that. Yeah. We know you don't drink. Hey, Jeff, can I get caviar uh, I want you to help sit with tickets. I'll have Josh cover your station, okay? Yeah, free. Yeah. I don't know where Josh went. Is he what, what does that even mean? Uh, Marcus! Hi. Jeff. Get tickets, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sean. Oh, my God. Uh, when they come out, oh, sorry. I need a cutting board. When they come out, just uh, put them to the corresponding place. So uh, you wrote me all day, and I just want to say something. All day, everything has been fine. Okay. okay. Just forget it. Yeah. Oh, my God. But Marcus just want to make sure everything good, bro. He's, yeah. he's a good person. He got good intention. Fuck is Josh? Who is what? that? Is that the tatted bull? Josh. I don't know. This shit got me leaning. I'm so locked in. I'm like the most proud of you ever. And that's everything. I just don't want you to get your expectations too high. She don't come in there. Fuck that shit up. I hope she don't come in drunk. We're diving. Yeah. The food's going too slow. Which tables? All tables. All tables. I gotta talk to my Remember you promised me we wouldn't run out of forks? Yeah. Guess what the fuck just happened? So we ran out of forks. Yeah, Bear, we ran out of fucking forks. I'm gonna buy you a calculator. Cousin, uh, Claire's on 31. Okay. Go say hi. Yeah, eventually. Eventually? Where the fuck is Josh? No, just go. No. 
Leave me the fuck alone. I'll get there when I can get there. I'm what? saying, just, it's just Sydney. I need it all day. Yeah, just pop out and say something, but it's too backed nah, up right now. It, we, we can't it, have this that. This is what's important. She'll understand when they get home. Me cause you're mad at me? What? Yo, 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 yo. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Yeah, mark it. Go, please. Moving red up to third, can only move six. Heard, chef. He started bugging out just now. But she is ignoring him, though. Respectfully. I know his dad heard that. Her dad. He right there next to the door. That boy back on their service. Nah, he doing his thing, though. We good with the people, though. We good with the people. I thought was thing. I can't write no notes down. I'm locked in. Fuck me again. Okay, that's very sweet of you. I have to go fix the toilet. A toilet? Oh my god. Okay, we want somebody new. Who this? Something gonna happen with that door. Somebody's gonna walk out with something and somebody's gonna get hit. I'm so scared. Walk it out. Alright, I got you. What? Is it now the best time to do that? Come on, Sid, just understand. Come on, this y'all. Is, this, is not a, this is not gonna be a reincurrent thing. This is just, he has to say, but she ain't say hi to her pops. Chef, you that noise cancellation when they walk through the door is so fire. It shows how like calm it is out there, but how tense it is behind doors. That bathroom is beautiful. She's so funny. We're a little kitchen, run back in the kitchen. Great, enjoy. That's all he can do for right now. That's all he needed. Why are you fucking wet? Because the toilet exploded. Oh, good. Do you have any extra clothes of any variety? Uh, yes, yeah, sure, sure, to no longer. She be rolling with the punches. <laughs> Why are you so slow? Why are you so fucking slow? Get that oh. shit out your head, man. You him. You hurt my man, Jimmy. Yeah, this is not right. The cookie's on. Well, you have to do it again. Okay, what's what? gonna put us behind no, is if you no, keep no, 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 no. Carmi said that this is. I say, send it back. If I have time to go outside and scream fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So then let's hustle, please, and thank Sydney. you. What the fuck are these? How long have these been here? Those are seven fishes. These are cold. Uh, these are cold. These are fucking dead. What the fuck? Please, what? just what? refire. Just refire. You were out there talking to the left. Sid, Sid, refire the set. They've been sitting here for fucking ever. Refire. Watch it, dude. Fucking hit the chest shit. Come on. Come on, man. Yes. Do it back, Siri. I'm sorry that this got cold. I'm... They got a good dynamics where they can, like, snap for a second and calm each other down. Oh, shit. Come on. Nigga locked in the fuck <laughs> freezer. Oh my fucking god. Are we stuck in the walk-in? Are we stuck in the walk-in? We got a lot of food up here, chef. So what are we gonna do? Take over, Sid! Is you the captain of this shit? T about to melt. Don't melt. Come on. Fucking God, bro. Uh, you live for this shit. You work for this shit. Come on, man. Look, he like me here. Come on, you got people standing right there with you to support you. Come on, sir. Run expo for me. I got two stations. Yeah, right. Let uh, you talk to her. Yes. Come on. Carmen gonna be in there the whole fucking night. Hey, yeah, all right. Yo, Richie, yo, get this along, fucking you, bro. guy. Wind it up. Listen to the sound of my voice and the sound of Richie's. We're gonna do this, yeah? Yes. yes. Great. Good. Everybody standing by. We have five minutes to do this, and we're fucked. All right. Okay. Five minutes. Every second. Let's counts. go. Every second counts, he. There's <laughs> so much food, bro. <laughs> Richie, like, oh, sh he about to snap into it, just like the old restaurant. No. 
Drive. You thought he was four words? Yeah. Over this shit. Let me two. Nah, they shouldn't have put that sound in there. I thought my man was about to. Carmi's gonna be so know, happy be like, that really? they did this. I know he in there punching holes in the wall. Nah, they they going to work. Go to work. I see good work. He need this time to relax, though. His, he got to understand that he prepared them for this. Yeah. But this is the worst time for it to happen, though. Fishes, Marcus, can you please help Connor out? Yes, sir. He gonna yeah, he got over it. He going to sure. pop out and Jake be like, yo, yo I love you. Yeah. We locked in. Yeah. They was telling him to call Tony the whole time. <laughs> that man is still in there. No, pour water, pour wine, read minds, just check in. I'm not gonna lie, I had a meeting well waggle. Boss, I'm a meeting well gal. Say gal. Guy now. Don't be scared. We're for this shit, fat. Come on. Caught a nil. Bro, they got two. We got three minutes left. Okay, and nobody's answering them. Bro, they work in five minutes. But this, what this does is it gives me appreciation and a much more understanding for when like food take longer than you expect at restaurants because you don't know what's going on in the back. Yeah, and this is what Carmi's gonna need to understand. Like, bro, you don't have to be on their ass like that, bro. They know what they're doing. it's his ship, though, Sheen. I would have ran through that fucking door. That's what I think he gonna do. And see how everything smooth, how smooth everything is. You're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Don't fuck go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? Why are you so fucking slow? Oh, shit. God that damn. was... I don't think he's actually there. I think he was just seeing him. Nah, I think he actually is there. Nah, he's not there. I don't think. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, there. somebody else. He looks just like him now. Yeah, they got that boy identical twin there. I'm like, what's going on? It was worth the wait. Like, bro, they all they all did they sell. So. Be such a good daddy. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They keep it short with that boy Pete, their mom. Coming in. Oh my God. Come on, Jim. We need. Bro, you. my heart just dropped. Like it. Like I'm in this show. Did he? Oh shit. No, no, I, I, I don't want you to tell them I was out here. Oh, no, 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 it's totally no. okay. We got a seat for you. Oh, I, I, I know, I know. Nat is so pumped to see you. It'll be so fun. Carm is killing it. I, I just, you'd be so proud of them. <laughs> oh, I, I am, Pete. I am. I, I just don't think I can take it. I want you to go back in. Just don't tell them you saw me because this is the best. Didi, what did, what do you mean you can't take it? I love them so much. I, I don't know how to show it. Oh, sad. I don't have to say I'm sorry. So, so please, just this guy. You Gene? popping out? Gene. Is you doing that? Didi, I don't. I don't deserve to see how good this is. No. I want them to have this good thing, and she I don't, don't want to fuck it up. I'm not gonna hurt it. I promise. I promise. Plus, we gotta get all the dinners in before the baby. So she don't even know. Oh my fucking god. Oh, you and Natalie. I thought she. That's wonderful. Uh, Aww. I, 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 I don't know what to do. Could you, ju could you help me? Could you just come in and we'll, we'll be, you're very sweet. Just go in the back then. I'm gonna go, and I promise you, Yo, I, will, I will. Pete, don't let her go. Come on. I, I will talk to them. I will. I'm just. I need you to say it's okay. I need you to say it's okay. Come on, he's going to do it. He's going to say it's not okay. Fuck. He's in a hard position, though. It's not okay. It's okay. <sighs> bro, what would you do? Damn, bro. Her showing up. Her actually going in, and even if she sat down for five minutes, got an appetizer, whatever it was, that would just show that she loved him. He gonna go after her. But I feel her though, like the way that they left, 
and nobody's came over probably since. It's a hard situation right there. Man. I hope she don't do nothing, man. I'm whooping his ass when I see him. <laughs> That's the last one. I feel bad for Carmi though, because he wasn't a part of none of it. He needed this to calm himself down. And Claire's probably like, where the fuck is Carmi at? Man, stuck in a damn walk-in. Did somebody open up that goddamn door for my man? Dude, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Dog, is, is that meth? Oh God, barely. Dude, I'm so sorry. Nah, you gotta get the fuck out of here. finish. You okay? Yeah. That's a lot to deal with, man. So great. I think he's gonna be a little like, why didn't she tell Donna? Cause he bet against no, no, her no, coming I, I too. I gotta fire you. What for this? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? I mean, I, I think so. Let me check. Yeah, check. Be right there. Check. He better not know where it's at the Marcus. Murder, bro. You know, it's a lot of people, a lot of history. It's just a lot. Tell her she came. Against her. No. Not this one. Chef. Yes. Mm. I know things have been weird between us today. I found Josh smoking crack in the alley. I, yeah. That's wild. <laughs> Babe. Hey. No, no, no. What's wrong? Nothing. You gotta tell her. I love you so much. Jeffrey, you okay? Because we're good. We're doing really good. Do you think I did this to myself? Do what to yourself. Remember, he said everything you do is on you. Fire him, but I need to check with you. No, no, you can fire him. You should fire him immediately. All right, cool. I'm gonna fire him before he comes back in here. I love you too, buddy. I mean, he like the outcast, so like, I guess he kind of understand how she be, how she was feeling. But then you gotta think he gotta keep that from his fucking wife. That she came and she just couldn't come in. And now he's gonna live with. Making her feel like her mom didn't come when she actually tried to. And he gave her the okay to leave. Yeah. Dessert, sir? Not for me, Gary. Thank you very much. Not tonight. I've, uh, I'm good. Mr. Jeremovich insisted. Oh, he did, did he? He did. Was he trying to fucking kill me? Chocolate banana. You, uh, you tell Mr. Jeremovich thank you for me? What does that mean? I don't know. Shit went good tonight. Let's talk about me and some of that crap. <laughs> and my fucking car me setting this shit. I'm stuck in a goddamn refrigerator on the opening night of call. my fucking restaurant because I didn't have reception when Tony called. He wants to be perfectionist when you don't have to. I failed you guys. So how was it? Oh my God, it was incredible. So right? fire. So good, congrats. Yeah, man, thank yeah. you. I failed you guys and um, it's not gonna happen again. So silly, baby. Is it just yeah. too hectic right now? Yeah. Well, job of God is ass. Yeah. He's in there so long. Tina, you still there? Always, Jeffrey. Always. He need that. Tony Cole. Yeah, Tony, Tony. What's going on? He's getting frozen. He's lost. A little pimp yeah. is cooked, okay? A little pimp is cooked. See, that, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Shut the fuck up. What's going on? He's in the walk-in, but it, like the door handle came off. He's stuck in the walk-in? Yeah. 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 Yeah, sure. One sec. Oh, no. It's so Something happened to Marcus, bro. Yeah. Cool. Proud of him tonight. Seriously. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. See how he slicked this? <laughs> like, you don't got enough hair for that. Right? What the fuck was I thinking? Like, I was going to be in a relationship? I'm a fucking... I'm a no. fucking psycho. That's why. That's why I'm good at what I do. And I could concentrate. And I had a routine. And, and I had fucking cell reception. No, bro. Claire's going to hear this shit. I don't need to provide amusement or enjoyment. I don't need to receive any amusement or enjoyment. I'm completely fine with that. Because no amount of good is worth how terrible this feels. Man, this shit hit because I used to think the same way about shit. It's just a complete waste of fucking time. I'm really sorry you feel that way, Carl. He can't do nothing about it. Claire? No, man! Claire? 
He's just self-sabotaging, bro. Oh my God, bro. There. Don't let her go, Tina. I'm right here. What's wrong? Thank you for everything, cousin. Oh, she hurt. She got this snot coming out. Hey, what the fuck did you just do? Asshole, what did you just say to that fucking girl? What the fuck did you just say to that girl, Carmen? You shut the fuck up and get me the fuck out of here, please. Oh, yeah, I'll get you the fuck out of there, Donna. The fuck did you just say? Oh, shit. Richie, what the fuck did you say? I don't understand why you can't just let something good happen for once in your fucking oh, life. What the fuck is matter right with now? you? Someone's got to tell you this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck me. Here we go. Yeah, fuck okay, you. Yeah. You wouldn't have shit yeah, without me. So yeah, yeah, all right. Fuck Tough, you. Yeah. Are you a fucking kid? You oh, fucking okay. loser. Talk to you, my fucking you kid. You fucking loser. Yeah, at least I got a kid. You. you don't have shit. You piece of shit. No, what? You're, you're obsessed with my fuck damn you. That's what you are. Yeah. You fucking I'm leech. obsessed with yeah. I should have cut you I the fuck out. I fucking love you. I should have cut you the fuck out. You fucking need me. I fucking love you. Fuck you. Shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hope you fucking breathed to death. Yo, that's so crazy. Yo, Richie really changed. Him saying I love you, bro. He but that shit. Nah. This is the car me so sabotaging, bro. I'm not with him. He it. need to get all this shit out right now. Cause once you come out, he gonna walk out. A home. <laughs> yeah. He letting all this shit off his chest, like. This is good for us. Like I said, he needed to be locked in there with his thoughts. That's why now it's you sad that Claire heard, Claire heard that. He's going to have to go gotta back. she got to understand that he tweaked right <laughs> yeah. now, bro. Like, he feel like he lost everything. You got everything. no cell reception. You can't call. Put your phone down, dummy. I'm going to fucking freeze. You got no connection. Boy, he's shaking. I wish I hope you freeze the death. <laughs> I ain't crazy him saying that. Get bro, I'm only here either. cold though, dummy. I'm in this bitch freezing. I know I'm gonna see you in a little bit, but uh, I'm at work and um, I don't know. I just I had this like um sudden urge to say I love you. To tell you that I've um I've always had this like massive crush on you, and I think you're um so special. He was calling to tell him that in the midst of the heat. So Fucked up, Carmi. I know it can be hard to, like, find a second to feel good about what you're doing. I just hope you know that I'm... I'm so proud of you. Damn. Bro, you fucked up, bro. Where the bro? Mikey would be so proud of you, Bear. And I just, um... He knows she about to say that. He's gonna break his fucking phone. Really? I knew it. He fucked up. Like Richie said, what you say to that fucking girl, yo? Nah, <laughs> Richie wasn't going. <laughs> nah, dead ass though. Somebody got to tell him, like, yo, you being an asshole, bro. He let that shit collapse on that shit that uh, Jimmy said gets to him, bro. Why Jimmy there with his fucking date? Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. But when you yeah. got your, when you came out getting your bread, you had a shorty. Like, come on, bro. Nah, you gotta go out here, go. Make her the craziest food in that kitchen before you leave. Go get some flowers, go get some fucking candy, and fucking make up. They're not about to end it right here. It's not real. It's 40 minutes right now. This could be I mean, about to freeze. Nobody trying to get him out. You I gotta punch a hole in the wall and got out that bitch. You crazy. You're not punching a hole in the wall. Luca, make it worth it. Good luck. I'm about to sleep in that bitch overnight. I'm at Gary be chilling. He don't even want to come out now. <laughs> it's too much shit he got to make up. Baby, are you okay? Oh, God. Hey, oh, sorry. I, I, I knew you were busy and I was trying not to no, bother you. No, come on. No, uh, it's fine. I was fine. Crazy. Absolutely incredible. It's the thing. That's all she needed to hear. That's what he sent them. Had too much to drink. <gasps> Didn't think. His mom died. Yeah. yeah. She looked pale in the face. No way. Damn, not like that. If there's another season, it's it gotta, gotta be start another off season. Crazy. I'm about to get out. He got to make up. 
with Richie, Sydney, and Marcus. Marcus' mother just passed away. Or something happened to her. Richie and Carmi. The mom situation. She didn't even know Sugar was pregnant. That's kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. But she invited her for her to see that. It's the thing. And it ended up like Damn, this. Bro, I can't really finish. We finished this job way too fast, bro. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm not gonna lie. This and the boys might be number one and number two. Nah, this is my favorite thing we watched so far. This shit tied with the boys. We're bugging. New season of the boys dropping. It's because we just watched this joint and it's fresh. Man, Homelander about to make an appearance in a couple. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the boys joint was fire playing, you no. Know? But that was the end of the bear. That next season need to come tomorrow, man. No cap. That's why I hate watching shows and it's not completely finished. Like Breaking Bad, we just watch that on straight through. For me, Demon Slayer, we gotta wait for this show. This shit, we gotta wait for this show. Boys, we gotta wait for this show. But a lot happened these two episodes. Man, this show got better with every episode. Like locked in fully. Couldn't take my eyes off the screen. Reading every word, even though I can hear the words. Like, bro, every second count, boy. <laughs> I was happy that Marcus and Sid made up uh, towards the end right there. But if we just want to talk about the whole series in the in its entirety, started off Carmi. Didn't know how my man was gonna hold up. To be honest, he was going through a lot. Still is going through a lot. Gaining Sid just made things 20 times better for him like he said you make me better at this like you they're the they're the perfect duo to push this business because they want it really bad but they also understand there's a lot more things that go into it other than just the food the rookie of the year everybody knows him so he he has that experience under his belt but he also understands that the crew is what makes the restaurant run. And that I think that's why he's so hard on them is because he knows how important things have to be within the kitchen in order for the restaurant to run the way that he sees fit. Because like Swiss said, like I was like, Carmi's tweaking out. He needs his time in there. But like, bro, this is his restaurant at the end of the day. Like this is his vision. Him not being able to partake in that an open opening night was really was just unleashing all the insecurities that he had about even starting a bear. Even my guy Ebra, even though he did the weird shit and skipped out on the school. But everybody has grown so much. Tina, Gary, Fat, Richie, Sid, like the whole crew has been growing, and I can't wait to see how things go for next season, man. Um, this is one of the favorite, my favorite shows that we've watched so far. So we're watching this. I'm definitely setting the bar high for any other show that we watch. Just a two season recap, real quick, run through a speed run through it, man. Carmen came on board. He was trying to change everything, everybody's mindset that was there. That was the OGs, but Mikey wanted to keep it a certain way, rightfully so, because that's what worked for them. I was finding out about the money that Mikey stashed away for him in the uh, tomato sauce. I'm getting that flashback of basically like his family history for that um, episode. Just seeing like the, the dynamic with the family when Mikey was around, how they were close, but it was still so much chaos going on. Um, internally and us seeing how Mikey was like trying to put up a facade or a front that he was happy and had everything together when he really, you know what I mean, was struggling internally. My man saw a good man popped up in there, jail. <laughs> Funny as shit. Acting like an asshole. Um, and then us just getting introduced to every character. I feel like every character had their time on the screen to where you were able to understand them better. The only people that really wasn't was my man's Gary and, uh, Ebra in a way, but like Tina and all of them. Um, Tina had a whole 180. Richie had a 180. Forks. Um, Sid had a 180. She was able to like die, de escalate um, in certain situations. I love that, John, that they do her and Carmi. And then Tina did it at uh, this episode too. Yes, yes. But to see where the bear was or the beef was when they first started and then towards the end, how they had the new window in the front, the door um, coming out, how they just re 
constructed everything we saw the whole process them knocking the uh, walls down them bringing sugar on was probably the best thing that they could have done at the time army like it's everything's on you you know what i mean be that guy which i felt like he was trying to do it was his fault because he did have you know what i mean that time to call tony or terry or tim or whatever my man's name was to get that that fridge fixed and that would have avoided the whole thing but i feel like that needed to happen for him and also everyone else because that forced everyone to step up and you know what i mean take on different roles within the restaurant and yeah. in the back to where um i feel like it's gonna help their bond since they got through opening night the way that they did like this was like probably the worst thing that could have happened was carmy the person that runs everything to get stuck in the back and was crazy too is before they opened and had everybody come in on episode nine i think it was or whenever it was or this episode he called her captain like this you're the captain of this the now yeah so like that's crazy how like that was kind of foreshadowing for him getting stuck in there and like her having to basically like i need everybody to listen to my voice you know me um Carmi was self-sabotaging and letting the negative thoughts, even when he was walking out and he was like picturing that one guy to be the person that was, you know what I mean, from his first job. Yeah, um, I think that was his head. Just shot. like, you know what I mean, all those negative thoughts he wasn't able to block out and then he felt like he failed. So like at that point when he was locking the freezer, it's just like, that wasn't, that was just an emotional, like bullshit shit that was coming out. And I respect Richie and... It shows like his growth by him just saying like I love you in that situation because like he knew that Carmi was just pissed off, not at him but just like he was tweaking. Though. He yeah, was about, like wild shit, like, like like you a loser with your kid and shit. Yeah. Like yo, you fuck, like when he, you get out of here, whoop your nah, ass, nah, bro. But he knew you niggas, when you get out of here, you gotta see me. Where the nah, bro? but he knew that. Head, but shit. like no one, he knew Carmi. what to say to make him mad, bro. And he was just saying all that bullshit, like mm. like like yo, lose. Like once you brought a kid into it, like bro, nah, but bro. bro. Oh, he was me. doing that so he could be alone. Like, yeah, I that know. Was, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, was like, he knew what he was and doing. And he was staying out with the whole clear situation. I knew she was standing there. That shit yeah. fucked up. But um, he was saying that in that situation because, like, I was like I was saying, for me personally, I've been there to where when you're by yourself, you have control over everything that's going on. You have control over people that surround you and in your life. And you have that emotional intelligence when it's you. But when you include somebody else in your life, like a partner, whatever it is, you put that emotional connection to them. And then now, if you can't regulate that or not used to regulating that, it can stir up. Like, I don't know, oh, she said this, John. It's, it made sense. Like, when you're in a relationship, all that stuff that you can suppress when you're by yourself is now on the forefront because another person's involved. Um, that's why he was saying like I'm better. I like being alone. Like I don't deserve this. Uh, I don't deserve to be have anything good. I, like I have a routine when I'm by myself. It's a waste of and time. And it's because yeah, it's it's not. But like, bro, he trying to convince himself leaving clear or going back to the other way was the right way because he had more control. Whereas like now his emotions is over the place because he really loved Claire. You feel me? But he loved Claire. He she loved she was beer. hurt, bro. Like she had a snot on her though. Like, bro, she was really hurt, bro. I felt bad for her. But she got to understand in that situation. Like, bro, he just chatting, bro. He just chatting. But, um, love this series, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoy these reactions. But if you enjoy that reaction, make sure you like the video, comment down below, show your thoughts, and subscribe on the bell. Kind of so you notified about these videos. We appreciate y'all. Thank you for all the love and support. But until the next video, the kids react.